This is Air Guns Nirvana with some PCP Air Gun do's and don'ts. Now, the <clears throat> information I'd like to share with you are some of the things that I've learned from the uh, modifying and customizing of my uh, Crossman Air Guns. But I feel fairly confident that uh, some of the information uh, <clears throat> that I'll be passing along uh, can be uh, readily used in regards to other manufacturers' uh, air guns as well. Uh, one of the air guns I'll be talking about is my uh, 2400 KT that I added the PowerMax uh, high pack setup to. Uh, the PowerMax is also made for the 2240. Uh, this style is the 2250 style or the uh, rat catcher. And they also make one for the 2260 and uh, he's in the process of uh, making ones for an older style of Crossman that a uh, Chinese company uh, has started to remanufacture. I believe it's called the QB78. But to start off with, I'd like to talk about the uh, Benjamin Discovery uh, high pressure pump and the Benjamin Discovery uh, air rifle. So when I first ordered uh, the Power Max high pack, at the time I also ordered uh, from Alex uh, a, uh, a dust cap and a set of uh, Foster's quick disconnect fittings. Um, I knew that uh, this pump was going to have this hose uh, permanently attached uh, to the pump and I was concerned that uh, uh, with transporting the pump uh, you know, either in the trunk of a car, behind the seat of the truck, back seat, what have you, that this hose would become crimped and, uh, and damaged. So uh, instead of having that happen, uh, I really like uh, the way this has turned out. And uh, it's worked out uh, really well for me uh, since I've had this for quite a few years now. Uh, <clears throat> a little uh, side note, uh, something I uh, just recently recognized the other day is uh, right here on the pump, as well as uh, up here on my pump, I've noticed some light pitting uh, on this uh, outer pump tube. I uh, contacted uh, the Crossman Service Center uh, that's responsible for servicing these pumps and uh, told the gentleman that I'd had this pump for quite a few years and uh, uh, he said that uh, the pitting uh, was normal and uh, it shouldn't affect uh, the pump that much uh, with that light pitting. Um, he also informed me that uh, he recommends that these pumps be disassembled, cleaned, and relubricated uh, at least every six months, depending upon use. I've had this for numerous years, and I have yet to have this apart. So uh, I'll be uh, I'll be disassembling this pump, cleaning it, uh, relubricating it, and uh, I'll post a video on the. Uh, on the adventure uh, that that is. I also asked him when I had him on the phone um, what he suggested uh, for lubrication. Uh, I told him that I had some 100% uh, silicone, 100% uh, synthetic uh, paintball marker uh, oil. And uh, he said that the 100% silicone lubricant is what he prefers to use uh, when he rebuilds these pumps. So uh, I've been using uh, this uh, in my CO2 uh, air guns as well as my uh, high pressure air guns. So let's go over that. Here on my uh, Benjamin Discovery, uh, we have a TKO muzzle brake uh, here on the end. I had to modif <coughs> excuse me, modify the uh, dust cap uh, to get that to clear. On my uh, Foster's Quick Disconnect, I also had to modify it slightly. Uh, had to cut a bit of the carbon fiber wrap off of the uh, TKO muzzle brake here to get the Foster's uh, to clear that. But uh, every charge, or <clears throat> excuse me, every time, or every excuse me, every other time that I go to charge uh, my air rifles, I like to take and use a single drop of this 100% uh, silicone. Uh, oil, uh, or drop it down excuse me, inside the uh, foster fitting. I then connect, just click disconnect here. 
like to place my air guns, <coughs> excuse me, air guns on a uh, soft surface so that they don't become scratched or damaged. The pump needs to be on a uh, stable, flat surface. Remove the dust cap. Install the disconnect. I notice a lot of people uh, they like to have their feet in this position uh, when charging their air guns. I find it very, uh, very unstable. I prefer just to take a, a single step back. And as with my multi-pump guns, this is not a sprint. Uh, it's a marathon, slow and steady. Uh, this is not like a bicycle pump. If you pump it too fast, you will cause excess heat, and uh, you can damage the O-rings in no time at all. The bleed off, you need to make sure that that's snugged up. 1-1000, 2-1000, 3-1000. And so on and so forth until you reach the desired air pressure in your air gun. Once you've reached the desired pressure, bleed off the excess pressure with the bleed off screw. Disconnect, dust cap. Quick disconnect and dust cap, and you're ready to rock and roll. Now, with the Power Max setup, I'm going to show you how easy it is to uh, uninstall and uh, install this. There may still be a little bit of pressure uh, on the high pack. Let's see if we can hear a little bleed off. Not much at all. Oh. Slowly unscrew. It is now completely disengaged inside the tube. I, uh, I <clears throat> in this particular build, I never really planned to ever uh, remove the high pack, so uh, it didn't uh, affect me that the uh, uh, muzzle brake here. Uh, was going to prevent the high pack from sliding out. But all that's necessary is a slight tweak of the barrel. And the high pack slides out. If this was still set up to be able to use the uh, CO2 uh, powerlets, all you do is throw a powerlet in, put the uh, standard cap back on, and use as normal. But since this is uh, high pressured air only, um, you're not able to do that. Whenever uh, I'm having, whenever I'm reinstalling the Power Max, I like to take a single drop of the silicone oil, put on the end of the fitting there. This allows when the uh, when the high pack mates up to the uh, <clears throat> rubber seal on the valve, uh, it helps keep it from galling the, the rubber valve, <clears throat> excuse me, the rubber seat on the valve. So as before, I have to kind of tweak the barrel just ever so slightly to get that to clear past. And then, <clears throat> just a matter of Running it in. Now, once it gets a, a, a little snug, I like to use those two fingers, that thumb, and just snug it up just a bit more. Not much, just a little bit. Some people think that uh, <clears throat> this nut here is designed so that you can take a wrench and that you have to install this with a wrench. Uh, that is there in case um, after you bleed the air off the high pack you can't get it to come out of the tube this is designed for the removal of the high pack not the install all you got to do is snug it up ever so slightly and that's all the pressure that's needed to uh, to seal the high pack against the co2 valve if uh, <clears throat> after you've done this process if you've noticed notice that you have air leaking uh, back here the uh, more than likely, the uh, the rubber seat or gasket 
on the valve um, is uh, worn out, torn, something, um, because that's all it should take to seal it off is just finger tight. Uh, like I said before, every charge or so, I put a single drop into the foster fitting back, attach the quick disconnect, place it on soft surface so it doesn't become scratched or damaged. Put the dust cap in the valve, the pump, and begin the process, making sure that the lead off is snugged up. and so on and so forth until the high pack is filled. Lead off, move the quick disconnect, put the dust cap back on, pick up the rifle, remove the quick disconnect from here, install the dust cap, and once again, you're back in business. I hope you've enjoyed the information that was given. Please feel free to post questions and comments. I'll do my best to answer any question I can. Thank you and have a good day.